Yeah. All right. I don't know how much background noise you can hear as I'm wearing these earbuds. But um, before I get started on chapter nine of Genesis, uh, let us discuss a few things that have happened last month. Uh, last month, on August 28th, uh, Chadwick Boseman died of colon cancer. So, many people would say, uh, many people have been saying, uh, rest of power, King T'Challa, so, yeah, yeah, uh, Wakanda forever, there you go. I am a Marvel fan, I'm also a DC fan. I'm a fan of all media, mostly, but uh, I do like both Marvel and DC. Mostly. Depending that they do their heroes justice. <sighs> I was not a fan of Iron Man 3. As uh, you can tell in a previous video I've done. And last July was the anniversary of Judith Bar of the passing of Judith Barcy, who was the voice of Ducky. She will she will be forty two this today. So. Anyways, with that said, Chapter Nine of Genesis. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood. The flesh of every. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast, will I require and the hand at the hand of man at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man, whoso sheddeth man's blood by man, shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. 
and you be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly and the fourth bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein and God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him saying and I behold and be and I behold I establish my covenant it with you and with your seed that after you and with every living creature that is with you of the fowl of the cattle and every beast and of the earth with you from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth and I will establish my covenant with you neither shall all flesh be cut off any And I establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of the flood, neither shall there be any more, neither shall any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token covenant between me and the earth and I shall and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the waters shall no more come become a flood to destroy the all flesh and the bow shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it and I that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh and it shall and it is upon the earth and the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth and Ham and Ham is the father of Canaan These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. 
and it will begin. And then we began to be a husband. And I began to be a husband man. Husband man. And he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine. And was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent and him and him the father of Canaan saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without and Shem and Japheth took a garter garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness and Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant and God God shall enlarge Japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant and Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. Yeah. And that is the true rainbow connection and between God and Noah and man and due to the fact that Ham was the father of Canaan means that his wife was black and uh, that explains where slaves came from because Ham saw his father naked he was cursed by his father and became the servant of his brothers. So. And that is why the black man became a slave for so many years. Eons. Yes, the rainbow connection is God putting the rainbow in the sky and or, or after the great flood.